Hey guys, this is the Anime Boy. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about some sports anime. Since some sports animes don't get a lot of love, only some of them or some of them go under people's radar. And uh, I want to talk about some sports animes that uh, you can put in your watch list. So for the fifth spot is going to be Run With The Wind. So Run With The Wind has currently 23 episodes and was released in the fall of 2018. This is for uh, Run With The Wind is after abandoning a competitive running back in high school, Kadoku has no desire to return to the sport during his college years. But when an improv shoplifting related sprint brings his talent attention to Haji, he soon finds himself wrapped up in an adventure he never imagined. Haji is determined to run in the Haidoken, a 10 part relay race that spans to the mount from the top of Mount Hakone and back. To achieve this goal, he plans on convincing Kadoku and his 8 other doormates. What I like about this anime is that this anime gives that character development to each and every uh, individual from those eight individuals that are in this uh, anime. It's it, and it's good. It's good. I really like this anime. You know, the openings, the endings are pretty good. The music that they chose, it fits with the anime. I rate this anime a, uh, a 7 out of 10. So for the fourth spot we're going to be talking about is Taiso Samurai. So Taiso Samurai currently has 11 episodes, was released in the fall of 2020, and this anime rolls into, of course, sports animes and a little bit of drama. So uh, the synopsis for uh, Taiso Samurai is, in the year 2002, Japan's gymnastics world was one strong former Japanese representative, Shoutaro Aragaki, 29, who devoted his time to gymnastics was unable to perform as expected. Even so, after training on a daily basis, his, pro his coach, Amakusa recommends Shoutaro to retire. However, the fate of the Aragaki family will change significantly due to a certain encounter. So this anime, I really like this anime where, where it was going in the first episode. So, so and the first act in the first episode was uh, uh, Shoutaro trying to tell his daughter, you know, I'm going to retire. And... And each time he would try to bring that up in a conversation with his daughter, they would get interrupted by some by someone in the background and they would cut their conversation. And I was like, oh, you know, this is going to be an interesting, interesting anime by the way that they're going. But then everything changed. Give it a six out of ten. Don't get me wrong. The animation was was good. I mean, it was, it's it's hard to make gymnastics look interesting and i give props to mappa studio so the third anime in our spot is going to be hanebado so hanebado currently has 13 episodes was released in the summer of 2018 and i'm you know anime can make anything entertaining i mean this is a badminton anime you know it goes into that drama and of course it's a sports anime but it it's very entertaining you know and after i'm not gonna lie to you after watching this anime i thought to myself wow i want to play a little bit of badminton and you know since i'm still a kid trapped in this in this uh grown body so the synopsis of uh hanebado says in the spring world of badminton uchika was the reigning champion her daughter anayo would follow her mother and train with uchika for many years one day in her middle school, Anayo caught a cold before an important badminton match and lost, causing Uchika to leave her and Anayo be raised by her grandparents. Her mother leaving resulted to Anayo being depressed and stopped playing badminton at a competitive level. As of now, Anayo is in her first year of high school. She is recruited by a former player, Tachibana, to join the badminton club. While there, she learns to overcome her fears from playing badminton once again. So this anime dwells into that, uh, that, that, tr that trauma, that childhood trauma, you know, from her mother leaving. And it's pretty intense. And aside of that, you know, the animation is good. If you know what I mean, I would rate this anime a six out of 10. And our list is going to be Hinomaru Sumo. So this anime, of it's a sumo anime, like it says in the title, but uh, it, it's, this anime had potential. I had it, it had potential. So for the synopsis of uh, Hinomaru Sumo is in professional sumo, there are no weight classes. It is a savage sport where the strongest survive, and anyone willing to test their might can step into the ring. There is, however, a minimum size requirement to be a pro sumo wrestler. 
A young Hinomaru, incredibly talented and hardworking though he may be, does not meet the requirements. A small boy has big dreams of reaching the highest class of sumo. The only way that he could possibly go pro is if he becomes a high school Yokozuna, a title given to the strongest wrestler in high school tournaments. So this anime, like I said before I started the synopsis, had potential because uh, this anime felt rushed. Um, if you read the manga, I mean the manga takes time with it, but I guess they wanted to jam everything in with those uh, 13 episodes. And if they wouldn't have done that, I would give a, this anime ranking a little bit higher. But it made me kind of question or put this down a bit, so I would rate this anime a 5 out of 10. First and surely not least, it's going to be Stars Line. So Stars Line, if y'all haven't heard of this anime, is it probably, I guess, is out there, kind of. But uh, you probably see it in Instagram or, or stuff like that. So uh, the synopsis. The teen adolescence story revolves around the upcoming age of boys in a junior high school soft tennis club in which is in the verge of shutting down. Toma asks Maki to join the team for his abilities and mentions a summer competition. Maki asks for money in return for joining the team. So uh, that's the that's the synopsis, but uh, I'm, we'll go a little bit more depth into this anime. So this anime, of course, is sports and drama, but this anime goes into the the you know, the troubles of, you know, home life. It keeps you off your seat. It's an only sports anime. I mean, there's no manga, so it's just an only anime adaptation. And those 13 episodes, you'll see, um, once you put this in your recommended list or once you watch it, you'll see what I'm talking about. But this anime is very good. I mean, it has them, it has that kind of like slice of life feel, but it's not a slice of life. It's, and, and it's just good. It's a six out of 10. And yep, that pretty much sums it up. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, if you want more content or if you want different content, you know, you could just leave stuff down below. Uh, yeah, just just leave stuff down below. But uh, other than that, other than that, guys, uh, you know, make sure to. I don't know. <laughs>